Yeah, we're reacting to that guy, ladies and gentlemen. Naoki Nakamura. Definitely, hands down, one of the best drifters in the world. I almost feel like I shouldn't make this video with Pro Drifter in the title, because he <laughs> is on another level than where I am at right now. I, his style of driving is just awesome. And you know what's funny? After, just funny quick story. After I crashed at Holly OS Fest, uh, one of my friends, he runs the Naoki Nakamura uh, Technique Study, I think is what it's called. He has a YouTube channel and Instagram page. And he was like, dude, don't get down on yourself. He's like, Naoki calls himself like king of crash, or maybe other people call him that. And his thing is like, if you're not crashing, you're not going hard enough, and you're not learning. So, I wanna talk about kind of what, like, how he does some of this shit and kind of what, what makes him unique and what makes him so high level. So one of the biggest things he's known for is his reverse entries, um, backwards entry, whatever you want to call it. And he does it a lot differently than how most people do it. So what he actually does is a lot of people will reverse entry, they'll, they'll whip it in and it looks super sick, but they'll actually wait till the tail end kind of comes back around to where they're like at steering angle or at least at 90 degrees and then they get on throttle. Naoki actually does it to where he's on throttle while he's already backwards. See that? That is a perfect example. Whips it. He's already on throttle like when he's still backwards and that is just like another level of reverse entry. It's super, super sick. See that? So it, what it allows them to do is carry like so much speed and go like so backwards and he's actually able to kind of propel himself as he's going backwards and kind of whip it back around and slow himself down in a way rather than kind of waiting for the car to slow itself down. He actually uses the throttle to slow himself down, pivot it around and then like really like hammer down. But it, I mean actually he's like hammered down when he's already backwards. So one of the biggest things he's known for, and I want to try it, like I want to learn more about it, because it's just so interesting to me, is he only uses a modified knuckle and like a slightly extended lower control arm. If, if, I'm un if I understand it correctly, I've talked to some people about it, it's a modded S chassis knuckle, and then I believe he uses S14 control arms on his S13, so they're barely extended. And then he actually runs the front like at almost stock ride height in a way. That's like what he swears by. And even this car, if I'm not mistaken, is on a similar setup. It looks to me like he has a little bit more camber in the front end, and it's on an S15. So he may have extended the lower control arms as well. I'm definitely a big fan of just a well, nice modded knuckle and extended lower control arm on an S chassis. I actually had that on my Laurel for a long time and I really enjoyed kind of that feel. Now, I do love Wisefab as well and I have it on the comp car, but it's just interesting to me that that's what he chooses, even on his comp car. You guys know that I'm obsessed with drive closer, right? Like I'm always trying to push myself to drive closer. I obviously have a lot of work to do, but it's like that is something that Naoki is known for is literally just driving as close as possible at all times. And he's, he's an animal at it. Now he will, if I can say, if I can take one thing from him and I'm probably gonna get flamed for this, but if you watch a lot of Naoki, I mean, that is incredible. Don't get me wrong but he will cut lines and do things to get that proximity. Now, I will do the same. So I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. If you watch other drivers, they may be on the exact same line as the lead driver and still get that same proximity once they're kind of in the pocket, but he'll maintain the proximity and kind of sacrifice the line, which is just a different style of drifting. Okay, this will be good. This is a compilation of every 2020 D1 GP battle runs of Naoki's, obviously. So this is in the wet. Guys, if you have not, like, not, I'm not talking about doing like skids and donuts in the rain, but like if you haven't drifted in the rain, it's a whole different game. And I think that's definitely something that people from Japan or even from like Norway, I know Frederick Osbo is a great drifter in the rain. It, it, it's like people that are around rain drifting more, 
definitely, I mean, they obviously perform so much better in it, but it's like its own skill. It really is. It's something that I definitely want to get better at. I love practicing in it. I remember in, at Grid Life, when it would rain, I would drift the entire time because I'm like, I'm getting all the practice I can. Everything is so much more precise in the rain. It's slower. Um, so like you have a little bit more time, but it's also a lot more precise. Um, and so you kind of, it, it's sketchy. Like to drive that close is impressive. Oh, here we go. Okay, guys, if you don't know, Daigo Saito is like the only driver I actually like nerd out to in the, in the whole world. I freaking love Daigo. That's my boy. This is sick. Daigo and Naoki. Oh, God. So sick. Naoki could have been wider there on the wall. It was a savage entry. Like, don't get me wrong. Ooh, Daigo got left behind there. What happened? Okay, let's see. Dago's gonna frickin' huck it. My boy. Let's go. For the boys! Always gonna send it. Ah, he was not as wide either there. That's interesting. And I've seen I've seen both of them go super wide there. I don't know if they were if that's something they do differently in D1 GP when they're on the Nami? I don't know. I'm learning with you guys, so just understand that. Ooh! See, there we go, boys. I'm not the only one. A wall tap there. Messed up. It's all good. <laughs> just trying to make myself feel better. But no, honestly, like, he... We haven't seen a whole lot of crashes of his, but... I've been told he's crashed a crap load. And I think anyone who's pushing themselves and trying to learn, especially earlier on, they're gonna crash. All right guys, well that was Naoki Nakamura. I could watch so much more of him drifting. It, like, if you're trying to excel in virtual drifting or real life drifting, he's definitely someone that I would study and watch. I know that I need to do more of it. I, just watching this was even more eye-opening. He has certain things that he just does insanely well and he's a hell of a driver so that was sick comment below if you guys enjoyed this and who should we check out next we've done like a lot of youtubers and a lot of you know americans and people like that but i think it's time we dive into some of the the older legends and even the ones that are still super relevant now like naoki and daigo so comment below who you guys want to see and this was too fun someday i want to be on his level we'll get there but it will take years that guy's been drifting forever so Anyways, that was super fun. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, leave us a like on the video, and we'll see you guys in a couple days. Peace.